we had a bit of an unusual problem with the right angle drive off of the gearbox on the five speed conversion in this car. So those of you who have been following my channel, you've already seen this car before. This thing has the Datsun 280Z five speed kit in it using the uh, Rivergate five speed conversion kit. Now we had a very unusual problem with it. His speedometer just quit working one day. It turns out it was all within this right angle drive. So what happened was this had actually worked itself loose on the way we didn't tighten enough, whatever happened. And with this loose, this whole housing ended up working loose and unscrewing slowly out of the housing until it fell apart and we lost the whole gear and out of it and just fell off somewhere down on the road. So when we called Will over there at the Rivergate, he was actually very perplexed. He had never seen one come apart before. Now, you know, I want to preface everything with saying these are actually very good kits. I've actually got one in my car. I know several people who have them in their cars and everyone likes them. And I will have to say, as a what appears to be a one-man operation, he's put together some really good instructions and his support for the kits is really good. Really on par with or even better than some of these big companies. Because I have used stuff like Adco Sway Bars, a Flaming River, steering racks, and a few other parts. And I'd say his information and tech support is probably better than most of those companies. So I don't in any way want to say anything negative about him, his company, or his products, because everything actually fits really nice and the instructions are clear and easy. I just want to say that right up front. But this was an unusual problem. So we called him. And he said that currently he's having a lot of problems getting the gears. But he said, send it to me. If I've got the right gear, I'll get you fixed up and get it sent right back to you. And um, he had the right gear, turned it around in about a week, and was right back to us. Now, he didn't fix it for free, but we didn't expect him to because this thing's been in the car for... 12, 14 years now. So there's no reason to expect any kind of warranty or anything on it. But he fixed it right up. And now we're going to put it all back together and get them back on the road. But it was just an unusual problem I wanted to say something about because, like I said, it's unusual. So installation of this is really quite easy. Just going to put this right up here. Line up the tab into the groove there, tighten that down, and then put the cable right in the end of that, and that's it. All right, so here it is installed and ready to go. So I want to reiterate that this was an anomaly. There's not a problem with these things. It's just a fluke deal that this one came apart.